Part pool is part middle school and part art gallery. You don't have to look around the halls for long to find works of art made of foil, paint, and pencil. It's very good work. That's a product of Teresa Nelson's unusual approach. I think it needs to be experimental and um, super hands-on and different ways to get to one point. It's all about experimenting and trying this and trying that. I give you the tools, here's the supplies, here's the techniques. Now you create what you want to create. I feel like we have a lot more freedom so we can draw a lot more and we get to use oil pastels and paint. There's no limit on what we can use or do. That may be the secret to the success of this class. Kids in here are allowed to use whatever it takes to produce the best version of their masterpiece. It's all part of a master plan to keep things in here fresh. I haven't had to teach the same lesson twice yet. I just keep changing it because, because I might have had a student that had me for sixth grade and now still has me for eighth grade. So I can't repeat the same lessons. So I just have to keep, and I think that's what keeps it fun for me is I get to create a new lesson basically every time I'm teaching something. That's not the easiest way to teach, but for Nelson it's worth it because her goal for this class is bigger than any single assignment. I feel like I'm fulfilling my role as a person here on earth is sharing art with people who, uh, there'll be kids in here that didn't really even want to be in here maybe, they're just in here because they're friends in here that will end up producing some really good stuff and they are shocked by what they can do. So we talk about how art impacts your life from the time you're a baby to, until you die.